Jack Joe Whelan, the man from County Offaly, guide Limerick to a monster hurling final for the first time since 2001. They didn't have a great league. Can they have a good championship? Match on in Park Nugale. Puck out by Albert Shanahan. Many people have thought in Limerick that John Cahill might get the goalkeeping duties, but uh, Shanahan's long puck outs, I think, a factor in the final decision making process. This is Niall Morton. Won a hearty cup with St. Flannan's College. Drops this in! And it's connected! Just keep an eye on O'Connor. He connected superbly. Breaking ball favours Timmy McCarthy. Is the error punished? Joe Dean is inside. The referee blows his whistle. And from where the ball landed, there was a foul on McCarthy as he delivered the ball. And TJ Ryan has now got involved with Jonathan O'Callaghan right in front of the referee. Jerry Henry and Peter Moore are the umpires. And called ashore here to the referee is the captain, TJ Ryan. He could well see red here. It's a yellow card. Oh. There you have it. TJ Ryan should have been sent off. Joe Dean with the free. Satisfied with a point. It's O'Callaghan. Tries to flick it across far as Ben O'Connor. Peter Lawler manages to scramble it somewhere. But it comes to a court man. That is Jerry O'Connor. High challenge. Referee allows the, the advantage. And the point is well taken by centre half forward Niall McCarthy. Hits Jerry O'Connor a fair shoulder to his twin brother Ben. Inside is Timmy McCarthy from Castle Lines. Gets it onto his good side. Good score. <laughs> Laying it off as Niall Moore. Contributor of three points in this opening half. This is under pressure. The umpires signal to each other. Limerick are in front. Uses the hand pass. Far as Peter Lawler. Under pressure from Timmy McCarthy. Referee blows his whistle for a foul on the left half forward. For a court. Just outside the Limerick 65. And ben O'Connor in no rush. Experienced player now at this stage, won an All-Ireland club on St. Patrick's Day with his club, Newtown Shandrum. This one drops in, and it's gone all the way. Albert Shanahan lost it in flight, under the crossbar, and Cork are in front. Six minutes played in the second half. This is the ball that went straight through. Well gathered by John Gardner. That's the quality ball that Limerick needed in the first half, if I can use that comparison. The ball in front of the forward, Joe Dean, under pressure from Damien Rayle. Ah, oh, that's a magnificent point by Joe Dean. Sport are introducing a substitute, and the response is, of course, from the crowd, because one Brian Cochran is being introduced. Fine play by Ronan Carr. Brian Corcoran on his knees. This will be glorious. This is glorious. Corcoran has returned to the championship. But just watch this. This is magic. Gathered it the first time, didn't get off the ground, and floated this beautifully over the crossbar. Peter Lawler sends it into the middle. There's a little bit of space here for Niall Moore. Steadies himself and shoots a very good point. Six points for Niall Moore. This is Joe Dean. Has various options. One of them is to feed Niall McCarthy. McCarthy cutting through the centre. Met by a fair shoulder from Peter Lawler. Tim Smith combining as well as McCarthy. Despite the fact that he was falling, doing an almost Brian Corcoran and sending that over the bar. Sean Ogo Halpin laying it off inside. Here's a chance for Sean O'Connor. It's his second goal of the afternoon. This game isn't over after all. It was O'Shaughnessy, this is what we were expecting him to do. He drew three players, Fed O'Connor and Donald Cusick hardly saw it. Ryan again, leading by example. Four for Clares. 
around him and the free is given against him for over carry. Well, that is a bit harsh. Limerick have been pulled a couple of times harshly, I feel, for, for things like that. And this is gone. Yes, the umpire has finally raised his flag. Another point for Ben O'Connor, who has now scored 1-7. Free blows the full-time whistle. And Cork are in the Munster Hurling final. Most people thought they were 10 minutes ago. The game had dropped, the pace had dropped, and suddenly Limerick had another goal, and uh, we're on the back foot from then on, and we're trying to claw the victory, you know. But, um, you know, the, the, the performance that we had today like, would not do against either Tip or Waterford in, in the months of